Hello, today I'm going to go through my process of making a bowstring. I'm using fake sinew here, but real sinew makes a nicer bowstring. Now I'm going to tie one end of the string to this hook that's in the wall. If you don't have a hook in a wall, you can use a tree with a broken off branch. Now I'm measuring out how much string I'm going to need. For a short bow you want approximately 6 fathoms, for a long bow you might want 7 or 8. One fathom is the span of your arms, it's a nautical measurement. Then I cut off the string as I'm not going to need the spool anymore. Now I'm tying the end of the string to a steel S-hook. If you don't have an S-hook you can use a coat hanger, if you don't have a coat hanger you can use a stick. Now I take my string and I set up the rope walk. Just want to get everything sorted out so there's no involuntary knots. Next I take the middle of the string and loop it over the first hook, then I take the new middle of the string and loop it over the second hook, then I pull it all taut. All going well, there should now be three strands between the two hooks. Here's what it looks like up close. Next I'm going to start twisting the hook. Either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter at this point. As you twist it, the three strands will be drawn closer and closer together. You've finished when the grain of the twist sits at about 45 degrees to the line of the string. Now you're going to take your string and fold it up double. You want to be sure to keep one hand on the middle, otherwise the string will naturally coil around itself in a spot you don't want it to. Once you've got it double, you can put the ends together and then let it hang. The two strands will naturally want to coil together. Once the string is twisted as far as it will naturally, you're going to want to push it a little bit further. I've got the S-hook looped over my toe to hold it in place. You could also tie it back to the hook in the wall. Once all that's done, you're going to want to take the loose end of the string where it hasn't been folded, and you're going to want to take one of the loose strands and tie it around. Ideally speaking, this will prevent it from uncoiling. Now I'm going to take the doubled end of the string and just unwind it a little bit so that I got a loop. Then I feed the loose end of the string through the loop and then pull it taut around my finger to make a nice little slip knot. I then take this slip knot and then fix it over the lower limb of my bow. Once that's done, I turn the bow over, I measure out the string towards the tip. I then fold it over about an inch shy of the tip, and then tie a knot in it. The loop of this knot should be wide enough to fit over the entire limb of the bow. Then I take the bow and I try and string it. The string is a little bit too long, if I were to shoot it at this length it would clip the heel of my palm. But it's an easy enough fix, you just unstring it, and then you give it about 30 twists with your finger. Once that's done, you restring the bow, see where the string sits this time. Repeat until it's at the point you want it. So, that's my method of making a bowstring. I hope this proves useful to some of you. That's all I have to say. Goodbye.